A series of hydrogen electric plane flights have been made over the past 12 months. In fact, a lot of them. Personally, I don't care if there's been 500. I'm not getting on one of these airplanes. That's just my personal choice though. Do you agree with that? Is this something that you'd try out? Would you be willing to get on an electric hydrogen powered airplane? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It is true that a lot of people believe the future of air transport is hydrogen. That includes Zero Avia and Ecojet, who have teamed up for hydrogen electric flights. Earlier this year, they completed a series of test flights with a prototype a hydrogen engine on a Dornier 228 aircraft. Now, obviously, that's a very simplified simplified explanation of what this aircraft is. Zero Avia is a US-based company that develops hydrogen and electric engines for aircraft. So basically an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen. Now I should warn you that if you're told you should get on one of these airplanes, you need to think very carefully for a minute. A hydrogen engine, we've seen what they're like in Toyota vehicles. They run on very, very high boost pressures. Much, much, they run much, much hotter. So they use a lot more oxygen than an internal combustion engine vehicle, which is the reason why some of them, some of the engines in these hydrogen powered vehicles have been melting. Now, fortunately for the passengers, if there's been any, or the um, pilots of these airplanes, so far these hydrogen engines have been okay. Now, the airline claims that it will become carbon free, but of course we all know that at this point in time, hydrogen, in fact, about 97% of hydrogen worldwide produced is not carbon free, it's produced via fossil fuels. This deal, supported by Monty though, a financier of green technology, will enable Ecojet to buy up to 70 engines from Zero Avia and basically get this whole shebang started. Hydrogen aeroplanes are a thing, and a lot of people believe that this is the future. The ZA600 hydrogen engine can power a 19-seat aircraft, while the ZA2000 can power an 80-seat regional turboprop aircraft. In fact, there's no reason to believe that even today's aircraft couldn't just be retrofitted with hydrogen engines. Ecojet plans to start operations in 2024 with conventional aircraft flying from Edinburgh in Scotland. Once Zero Avia obtains certification for its hydrogen engine, it's gonna happen in 2025, they say, it will retrofit its aircraft with hydrogen electric engines. So what exactly is a hydrogen electric engine? Well, it's basically like a hybrid. So it's a hybrid aircraft, has a hydrogen engine, also has a battery pack. You can get where this is going. You can see how, imagine if you flew one of these into a building. No one's ever done that before, have they? Hang on a minute, yes they have. Uh, well, you know, airplanes explode when they hit a building or when they hit something, they explode. But if they are packed with hydrogen and flammable electrolyte in battery packs, you can imagine the explosion would be much, much bigger. Anyhow, in spite of these obvious safety concerns, recently Zero Avia actually partnered with Alaska Airlines, a major US carrier, to retrofit uh, a, some of the airplanes with a hydrogen electric propulsion system. The expansion of zero emissions flight technology through retrofitted aircraft will bring the aviation industry closer to achieving its goal of net zero carbon emissions say these companies. Now, they don't make mention of the fact that the hydrogen they're using in these airplanes is, it's not zero emissions, it's not even close to zero emissions. But, of course, the assumption is that one day it will be. The assumption is that one day uh, we'll, we will have so much renewable energy, we won't know what to do with it all, which is already the case in many places around the world, uh, it gets wasted. So then we use that renewable energy to create hydrogen. Therefore, it becomes actually green. Now we're not in that position yet, but we will be eventually because even at this stage in time, we can see that there's so much renewable energy being created in various places by overbuilding solar, wind and batteries, but particularly solar and battery packs that we can in fact um, have plenty of energy, way more than what we need. And that's how we build all this extra hydrogen and we actually can do it without creating emissions. So the concept actually makes sense. Whether or not it makes sense to fly in an airplane that's running on hydrogen, well, that depends on your risk profile. 
Personally, I like to take risks, but not those kind of risks. Anyway, at this point in time, the partnership will see Zero Avia's ZA600 hydrogen engine as the sole hydrogen electric propulsion source for the Nautilus Kona cargo aircraft. This aircraft has a 3.8 ton payload capacity. And the aircraft is intended for the domestic market, aiming to offer zero emission and lower cost operations. Now, like I said, they keep on talking about zero emissions, but at this time, they are not zero emissions. EcoJet's founder, Dale Vince, said the deal with Zero Avia was a milestone for the aviation industry and the environment. He said flying with zero emissions was possible and would soon become a reality. He added that this would show that a green lifestyle and net zero targets were achievable without giving up flying. I personally believe that um, there's another option to this. However, local airports are already creating routes for hydrogen electric commercial flights in the UK and even in Europe. They're working with regulators and policymakers to support the adoption of hydrogen as a sustainable aviation fuel. I actually think electric aircraft make more sense. I know they need, we need to hit these targets that are fairly challenging around 400 watts per kilogram of energy density in our battery pack at the pack level, not the cell level, but the pack level. That's a very, very high energy density, but we've actually hit that point. So commercial electric airplanes are now a thing too. So it's an interesting competition here. Who will win the race towards electrifying the aviation industry or hydrogen hydrogenifying the aviation industry? What are your thoughts on this? I actually think it will be electric, but it will be a different kind of race because clearly transportation in terms of ground transport, electric has already won that race, that's over. When it comes to airplanes, it's a different ball game. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.